Hey everybody, Techie101 here, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing. Got a lot of positive feedback from the last one, so why not keep the train rolling? Today we're talking about Kaiba Boy. Uh, once again, another throwback one here. You got Kaiba chilling out, Battle City attire with uh, Obelisk back there. This is probably the first uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! tin that I've purchased in the better part of a decade. I want to say. Uh, I remember back when the first generation tins came out, the second generation ones. Uh, that's back when I was like super into Yu-Gi-Oh! When I'd be like rushing to the store, you know, to the shelf. Like, is there anything new here? Is there anything new here? Oh my god, it's a new tin that has like Blade Knight on it or something. I need that shit now. And then, of course, I pestered my dad for 30 minutes until he would just finally like, just fine, here, damn it, jeez. Um, probably my best memory with this one time was uh, I was in Walmart and I found twenty dollars just lying on the ground and the first thing that popped in my head of course as a kid is what else are you gonna spend twenty dollars on you're gonna spend it on trading cards of course so I, I ran up and bought a tin I can't remember which one it was but that was a pretty awesome day alright so uh, let's see what's in this one I haven't actually read what's on the back yet so I don't really know what's in this one yet uh, but we get some exclusive cards that are part of the tin you know no matter what tin you get they're in there and then you get um, Megaton 2016. That sounds the name of, like, I don't know, some convention or something. Everything has to be Mega or Ultra or Secret. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's open up the exclusive cards here. Oh, wow, I managed to do... Okay, step one has been achieved. I managed to open up a thin uh, layer of cellophane without uh, much difficulty. Alright, so, of course, we have... The big badass Obelisk the Tormentor here, uh, street legal edition, you know, like, uh, I remember back, you know what, I, I know this is gonna be tangential, but whatever, it's an unboxing, might as well be tangential, um, you know, I, I didn't know that the god cards even existed when I was a little kid growing up, like, I knew they were in the show, obviously, but I didn't think they even existed in real life, cause this is back at a time when I was like, no, they, they can't exist because they're too powerful to exist or some bullshit like that. And I remember very clearly, I was in the bathroom at my elementary school with uh, my friend Alex, who was telling me this bullshit story about, oh yeah, they really exist, and they're like a they're they're like a different attribute. You know how there's like the six attributes. The God cards are a special attribute that means divine. And I'm thinking, Alex, quit bullshitting me, man. And then he beat the fuck out of me in the bathroom. But that's aside from the point. The point is that at the time I thought, you know, he was, you know, was doing bullshit. But in reality, it did turn out that the divine attribute is a thing, as well as the divine beast. So, you know, I guess, I guess it was uh, worthy that I got, you know, the fuck beat out of me in that bathroom when I was like eight years old. So I got Obelisk here. Uh, it doesn't say anything about that uh, that whole infinity attack point. Thing. So I think I'm thinking they took that out of there. Um, Blue eyes, white dragon. <laughs> I'm making a coffee table out of these, so I need as many as possible. This is the original Kaiba artwork that you have, of course, in the first episode of the series. You know, it was all badass. Blue eyes, spirit dragon, synchro card. This is a new one. Uh, one tuner plus one or one or more non-tuner blue eyes monster. Uh, neither player can special summon two normal monsters at the same time. That's like a very specific coincidence uh, con um, statement, but whatever. All right, so uh, same thing except uh, the attack points and defense points are swapped here. So it has 2,500 attack, 3,000 D. So okay. Uh, oh man, this guy looks badass. Uh, Triple D Gust King Alexander. I was just telling the story about my friend Alex beating the shit out of me, and now I get a card named Alexander. I didn't. I didn't plan that. I swear to God. Um, alright, so if you take one double D tuner, and then one or more non-tuner monster, it doesn't say how many Ds the non-tuner monster has to have, and then you get a triple D, Gus King Alexander, he looks pretty badass. This looks like a card Kaiba would have. Uh, you know, very, very white and very nighty, so yeah, that's that. Oh, and, oh, okay, we get into the pendulum side of the pool. I... I probably own a few pendulums, but they've probably just been sent to me by my fans. I don't remember ever... I, I have never bought, like, a starter deck or uh, a um, a booster pack that had synchros in them. Or maybe I did once. I don't remember. The, the, wherever they are, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. Aether. The evil... Aether. Damn it. I just got finished playing Pokemon Moon. Stop with the references! Okay. Aether. The evil empowering dragon. So, this is a card Ghost Kaiba would use, I guess. 
Um, okay, so Pendulum Effect is once per turn you can banish one Empowered Wizard from the mod. Oh, so it's an Empowered Warrior and an Empowered Dragon. Okay, so they're like, they post on Tumblr or whatever. Okay, they're very Empowered, yes. Uh, you're a strong, independent dragon, Aether. You know, don't let anyone, t don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, and then it does some other bullshit. Okay, uh, Ghost, Ogre, and Snow Rabbit. Alright, um, that rabbit looks like, um, Inaba White Rabbit, the, the spirit card. So, yeah. Uh, it's a tuner, and it's a psychic type. Um, so, interesting that psychics would be hanging around ghosts. Uh, but, creepy little girl. During either player's turn, when a monster on the field activates an effect, or when a spell or trap card that's already face up on the field activates its effect, you can send this card from your hand or the field to the graveyard. Destroy that card on the field. You can also use this effect, uh... You can only use this effect of Ghost Ogre once per turn. Okay, I mean, seems decent. Just pretty cool card art, really. And then that's all we get back to Obelisk. So we get the, the six uh, cards limited to the uh, tin there, which I think are uh, pretty decent, I guess. Uh, most of these are, of course, you know, like Blue Eyes, of course. You, you gotta throw Blue Eyes in there. I mean, honestly, you don't... You, Konami, you don't need to keep including Blue Eyes. Like, everybody has a... a raise your hand if you're a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! And you have a copy of Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's one of the fun things about the beginning of the series. And, uh, you know, you know, Kaiba's like, I only have the three out in the world. And then he takes Yugi's four, um, the, the Yugi's grandpa's and rips it up. And you know what? I could rip this up right now. You know what? No, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I can't do it! Even for a card as fucking common ass as this, I can't bring myself to do it. Well, God damn, I probably have close to 50 of these goddamn cards at this point. Like, just how many of these freaking things I have in varying artworks. Alright, so, time for the Mega Tin. You guys remember Mega Ranger? The, uh, Super Sentai that inspired, uh, Space Rangers? Yeah. I remember Mega Ranger. Then the, uh... Silver Ranger, Zane, he had that cell phone that was like, M-E-G-A, Mega. Womp, 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 boom. Nothing to do with these cards. Well, you get a shit ton in here, I gotta admit. How many cards do you get in here? You get 16. My, back in my day, booster packs had nine Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and we had to pay four bucks for them. God damn it, dang nabbit. Those were back in the days before your fancy, your fancy pendulums and your triple D synchros and your, and your, and your XZs black and starry odd cards. All right, so <clears throat> sorry for uh, pissing off everybody with the cringe. All right, so we have harmonic oscillation, majestic majesta, tempest. Phantom Griffin, which is probably one of my more favorite mystological creatures, so that's cool. Wing Beast, level, you know, attack 2000, simple. Uh, perform Pal, Perform a Pal, Salute Tiger. It's one thing about Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know, the longer they go around, you know, you gotta keep making up names for different archetypes, and they just get more and more hard to fucking pronounce. Alright. Super Heavy Samurai Soul Buster Gauntlet. That's your new 80s fucking rock band name for you there. Destruction Swordsman Fusion. Beginning Knight. Oh, that's cool. He's like a little kid with the knife. That's not really safe. Someone should probably take that knife away from him. Oh, he's cosplaying Black Luster Soldier. I just got that. That's awesome. He's a little tiny warrior guy. A Black Luster Soldier must uh, monster ritual summon using this card gains these effects. You can only use this effect of Beginning Knight. Oh, that's cool. So you would like use this guy to ritual summon i know i know there's a bunch of other black luster soldiers in the archetype now you know, there's the original uh ritual summon black luster soldier and then there's of course envy envoy at the beginning but then there's like a super soldier and then there's like a few others i know there's a few others that are rituals and i think there's even a new black luster ritual card out now um so he's a guy that this guy you would use to ritual summon for one of these black luster soldiers and they uh and then they would gain these following effects. Like, once per turn, you can destroy one target, one monster your opponent controls, banish it. That's pretty fucking good. Um, you know, that's an ability that Envoy has. So that's that's neat. That's cool. Pretty cool design, too. Uh, Painful Escape, uh, featuring Ojama Yellow and Ojama Black. I guess Ojama Green got pounded into the fucking ground by this giant ax axe-wielding minotaur. I don't know. Tribute one monster, add one monster to the same original type. Attribute the from your deck or grave. Oh, that's that wouldn't be bad. That would actually be pretty close. Oh, this okay. This one looks cool. Plume diva, the Mel Meliodius, Meliodius choir. Oh God, it's the first fairy king. God no. All right, so um, 
yeah, one Melodious monster plus one... Me it's not Meliodius, it's Melodious. Me Melodious? Meliodious? W whatever. She's a fucking fairy, okay? And uh, she's a diva! So, you know, got that. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty good. This looks really rare. This looks like an ultra, so I feel like I should put this aside right now. I feel like there might be people yelling at me right now, like, what the fuck, Teching? That's such a rare card! God damn it. Some people have also asked if I would trade any of these with you guys. I gave away all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards once when I was 15. Everything I had. My Sacred Beasts. My Jinzo. My Secret Rare Trihorn Dragon Original Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Pack. I don't give away cards anymore. Dino Mist Terran. Another uh, pendulum. Edge Saw Imp. Shir Naiwi Chin, uh, uh, Shir, Shir, uh, uh, guy wearing a bandana, Smith. Dr. Frankenderp? Dr. Frankenderp. Are you fucking shitting me, Konami? Okay. Konami's shitting me. What the- okay, what the fuck? okay, pause, just pause. What the fuck does Dr. Frankenderp do? If this card is normal or special summoned, you can pay 500 life points, look at the top card of your deck, then place it on the bottom of your deck, or reveal it and add it to your hand, but if you, you skip your next draw phase, if you add it to your hand, you can only use the effect of Dr. Frankenderp once per turn. Well, um, th th that's not a bad card. It it's basically just like moving up your draw phase, or if not, it gives you a way to get out of it. You know, like if you you know if you have fucking Doctor Frankenderp in your hand, and you're like, uh, oh shit, okay, I don't have any good cards. All right, I'll throw out Doctor Frankenderp, and then I get to draw a card, and if it's like something good. Like, you know, like, like, oh, a dark contract with the Swamp King. Like, oh, but that's not useful right now. I can add that to the bottom of my deck and then, you know, I could try again next draw phase. Or be like, oh, this is exactly what I need. I'll take this and then skip your next draw phase. Not a bad effect, but I just can't get over that fucking name. Dr. fucking Frankenderp. Okay. Why not, right? Uh, Dark Doriato pretty cool artwork as opposed to uh, the Frankenderp. Uh, humid winds, which uh, are not just humid, uh, the, the slight chance of lolly in the winds as well. Uh, and that's that's all we get. So, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I need to do something with Dr. Frankenderp. Look forward in the future. We're not letting this one go. I don't know. Maybe some of you are watching this right now like, oh, come on, Tekking. It's not such a funny name. Oh, fuck you. It is. Come on. Fucking Frankenderp. God, I haven't seen something so retarded. This is freaking beefcake. All right, so Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. Kyoto Waterfront featuring the Seattle Space Needle. Cool. Kaiju Counter. There's ki there's fucking Kaiju in, 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 in Yu-Gi-Oh! now. What am I saying? There always was. Deskbot008, which reminds me of Chobits for some reason. Uh, Deskbot Jet, so you know the fucking... Uh, they, you piss off the fat guy in accounting the last time, alright? He's, he's a fucking... He's a fucking anime nerd, and he just souped up the copier to shoot lasers in your fucking face next time you go in to try to... You know, like, I'm gonna photocopy this, uh, you know, my butt and send it to everybody in the office, and then... Psh, oh my god, I'm blind! Dark Contract with Errors, featuring Fiendish Change. Fiendish Chain, sorry. Cameo. Perform Pal Pinch Helper. Oh, this is another guy that looks pretty fucking cool. Zyanki Magician, which features, looks like he's a guy, looks like he would belong better in like a Legend of Zelda or some shit. Uh, once per turn, either place turn, you can target one light monster on the field and negate the face up effects until the end of this turn. Well, when would that come in handy? There's like three light monsters in this entire game. Oh, damn, that's badass. Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, which I'm assuming is a confusion of Odd Eyes Dragon, which I do have. Uh, and then Pendulum Monsters. Oh, cool. 
All right. Well, give that a shot. Chance. Charging Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Got to add to the uh, Gaia franchise a little bit there. Uh, Gadliaria, the Mystery Dust Kaiju. So it's Mothra, basically. I don't see her little fairies helping her out. Kaiju. I'm surprised it took him this long, actually, to do the Kaiju thing for Yu-Gi-Oh. You'd think they would have come up with that a while ago, you know? So is there a Godzilla Kaiju? I'm assuming there would be. I, I, I don't know. I guess they couldn't use Mothra, so they actually had to come up with something else there. Uh, Ignite Paladin, another Pendium. Mystery Shell Dragon, which oddly has zero defense. Um, yeah. Rad Raptor, Mimicry Lanius, Rad Raptor! Sounds like a show that would air on the fucking WB following Viva Pinata. Now we go to. No, it's not Rad Raptor, sorry. It's Raid Raptor, which is still a uh, four kids show that follows Viva Pinata. And then Super Soldier Rebirth, which is probably going to tie back into the. Yeah, Black Luster Soldiers. Shinaryu Style Swallow Slash, which is like a badass samurai cutting down some motherfucker. And then Statue of Anguish Pattern. Statue of Anguish Pattern, sorry. Not of Statue of Anguish, comma, Pattern. Statue of Anguish Pattern. Yeah. All right. And then that's that's it. So, pretty good, I guess. All right, moving on. I'm starting to realize that a lot of these are... Um, hold on. Uh, each Mega Pack contains one Secret Rare, one Ultra Rare, one Super... Oh, God damn it, Konami! They're not Secret Rare if I'm guaranteed to get three of them. They're extremely common then, wouldn't they be? You know, you guys, you know, I'm tired of going back into the old man, but you guys don't know what it's like, you know, back when you got your booster packs. You got two secret rares in the entire booster pack. And if you found one of those, you're the goddamn king of the playground. Before, you know, Scott grabs you and gives you a wedgie outside the fucking jungle gyms. Not that that happened to me, I'm just using an example and throwing out the name of Scott. Don't know why I use that. Uh, mistaken accusation. Yeah. Yeah. That ogre is clearly discrimi uh, racially discriminating against that Sangin. They just, they just hate each other, you know? Uh, and I love how Witch of the Black Forest is in the background there, because I think if you, uh, yeah, you confuse Sangin with Witch of the Black Forest and make Sandwich, which is funny, though, because... I don't know about Sangin, but I'm pretty sure they've been changing the freaking, you know, ban list again. I know Sangin's probably not banned anymore, but I'm pretty sure Witch of the Black Forest is, which means summoning a uh, sandwich, you know, you could still do it, but he's such, like, a useless... He's a fusion, has, like, 2,100 attacks, so it'd be like, what's the point, you know what I mean? Uh, Agio, Agio, is that the Thundercat Fortress? What the fuck? Thundercats are on the loose, egg on the Sascastrium... Aegon, huh? Sweet. Two level eight monsters. Tech question mark. Defense 3000. Super Heavy Samurai Big Waraji. Double D Necro Slime. Ignite Veteran. Twilight Ninja Shingetsu. Huyo! Dino Mist Rex, which is the fucking. As long as we're going with the Power Rangers reference, is the fucking, uh. Oh man, what was the, uh, not the Crimson Ranger, the Scarlet Ranger from Time Force? Didn't he have like the, 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 the V to T Rex or V Rex or something like that? You know, something like that it was called. Um, yeah. Man, I really feel bad for my Power Rangers knowledge. I used to know that shit back in the day. Well, what are you gonna do, right? Moving on. Uh, let's see. Ultimate Providence. Oh, Providence has called forth a trap card. When a same when a damn it when a spell trap card or monster effect is act is activated, discard the same type of mob card, monster spell or trap card, and get the activation. If you do destroy the card, all right. Oh, and I think there was already a card that did this, but this one's really shiny. So there we go. Oh, bam, diggity am. There we go. Black luster soldier. Super Soldier! You have to have Soldier twice in the title, because otherwise it just don't make any goddamn sense. Um, yeah, okay, so this is a long-ass description, but I'll go through it. Okay, you could Ritual Summon this card with Super Soldier Ritual. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of that monster in the, in the graveyard. Wow, that's, damn, that's actually pretty devastating, depending. Um, soup this guy up with a Megamorph and... Oh, fuck, yeah. 
If this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or if this card is in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one guy of the Fierce Knight monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can also only special summon one Black Sluster Soldier, uh, Super Soldier, once per turn. So you can you can only special summon this guy once per turn. Okay, so don't be don't be throwing like three of these guys in your deck now. Looks fucking badass though. Can I ask you guys a question? That was really fucking high pitched. Can I ask you guys a question? Do you feel like there's a lot, there's there's too many archetypes in this uh, game now that involve, like, like, the, like, the graveyard doesn't mean anything anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I, like, maybe, is it just me, or maybe I'm just looking at all the troublesome archetypes that are ruining the meta, and I'm looking at just, like, a card getting sent to the graveyard, that doesn't mean shit anymore. That just means, like, because there's so many cards now that I've, I've dealt with. Uh, I've been playing Dev Pro and, like, you know, YGO Pro a lot more recently. And it's like, I've been dealing with so many fucking archetypes where it's like, you know, okay, I just gotta destroy it and send it to the graveyard. Oh, but if I do that, it'll come right back next turn, or it'll special summon a shit ton of other monsters from their hands or something like that. Like, you know, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong places. I don't know. But Blackluster Soldier, Super Soldier, pretty kick-ass. Uh, plus you can use that, uh, beginning night dude, and you can get some other abilities on him. Twilight, look at, look at me, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm, I am the one that's teaching you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, yes, yes. The, I am the master here, I clearly know what the fuck I'm talking about, right? So it's like, uh, yes, you guys, you, you, I have the, um, the bl Black Luster Soldier, Super Soldier, and, uh, just keep in mind, if you do have a beginning night, then you can use these together, to get a special ability unlocked. It's a little known secret in Yu-Gi-Oh that most people just never find out. Um, unless you were to actually read the fucking card art. Uh, I mean, the card description for Beginning Night, but few people read anymore, so I felt like I should teach you. I should do, like, a, um, top ten, like, little known facts and, like, like, hidden tricks in the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, and they're, like, they're, like, the most, like, simple, like, you could use polymerization to fuse monsters! Like, did you know that Pot of Greed lets you draw two cards? Ooh! Twilight Ninja Getsuga Tensho, sorry, I have to say that every time I say Getsuga Tensho, uh, the Shogun, so it's Twilight Ninja Getsuga Tensho the Shogun, yeah, okay. Uh, Aroma Jar, which is like incense. Half Unbreak. Uh, Ignite Calvier. Calv Cavalier! I know words! Cavalier. Extinction on schedule. That, okay, so the meteor crashed down right on time. Those dinosaurs were like, come on, fuck. I mean, I got, I got a place. My wife is chasing me out of the freaking cave. I, I, okay, there you go. You're almost late, goddamn meteor. Right. Come on, Giant Meteor 2027. Perform, pal! Spring Goose! Performance, Hurricane! Mistaken accusation. Oh, okay, we're back at the beginning. All right! Well, uh, those are the the, uh, the cards that we got. Uh, probably the ones that I say I like the most, or at least they look the coolest, are, um, of course, the uh, Black Luster Soldier, Super Soldier, and then uh, the Beginning Knight, I think those two. Uh, Odd Eyes, Vortex Dragon. I don't know why I'm holding them up, because I'm just going to put the thing over here. Uh, Charging Guy was cool. And then, of course, the the Blooming Diva. That was all right as well. As well as that um, that Triple D guy. I don't know where the fuck he went, but, you know, he's he, he was pretty cool, too. Um, and, of course, you can't, you, you, you can't... You have to love Obelisk. He's fucking Obelisk. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing video. You know, sorry if it might go off the rails from your typical unboxing videos, but uh, as I said in the last one, I, I really don't like the, the idea of just me sitting here opening up cards. You know, if you want that, you can just go buy a fucking, just buy the fucking tin and you'll hear all the excitement of me opening up cards. I like to, you know, I, I deviate, I like to tell you stories, I like to give you what I believe to be jokes, but mostly it just comes out in unfiltered cringe for the most part. Uh, and then I, I, then I address the fact that I am cringy, which is in and of itself cringy as fuck. So it's like cringe exception on this channel. And I'm wearing a poo-poo hat. I mean, come on, guys. Sub. Let's get to 100k. Let's get this shit going. And then I'll have Yu-Gi-Oh! content every day. Um, no, I don't have enough money to have Yu-Gi-Oh! content every day. But I might go and buy the Yu-Gi tin here, the one with, uh, Slifer. So, uh, we'll check that out. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm gonna go figure out a way to throw all these, uh, I'm gonna find a place to put all these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. 
I have no idea where I could find it though. My room, I cleaned my room today. It's actually pretty nice, but it's uh, kind of out of room. So, oh man, God damn it. Konami, you need to start providing people with like stuff that they can put their cards in like after they open them, right? Because, you know, you have your cards, they're all over the desk. What am I supposed to do now, right? Anyway, later guys.